Hey guys, um, I'm going to start a new series where uh, I'll, I'll try to every month uh, pretty much show you guys the White Dwarf and uh, have a little review on it. I was going to do this for a while, but I haven't had time really. So yeah, so this is the new White Dwarf. It's the 400th issue of it. So yeah, um, this one here pretty much is all about the new towel. So at the front, you have what you always have a message from the editor saying happy birthday and stuff. So then you have the contents. And what we have in this month is you have full release, Army of the Month, Jervis, Johnson, Battle Report, Blanchett, Sue, rather the Battle Suits, Citadel Hall of Fame, Parade Ground, and then we also have Kit Bash, Parade Ground, Battleground, Paint Splatter, Jeremy Fetok, uh, Where to Buy What's On, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So, um, yeah, so. Um, let's get into it. So here on the first page, you have the new towel. So it looks pretty good. And then that's the first one, the Sun Shark Bomber, which opens up like this. It has drones and stuff. Um, then you have the Razor Shark, looks like this, that's all pretty nice. Then you have a Riptide Battle Suit, a XV-8 Battle Suit Commander, Commander Far Sight, you have Then you have the Pathfinder team, which comes with drones as well. Um, then you have Cather Fireblade and Dark Strider. They have no helmet. And then you also have the Long Strike, the Hammerhead Gunship. Um, so, yeah. Um, and that's the new codex front over there. So it looks like this. So I could probably zoom in later on and give you the stats, but I'm not sure if they're exact. And there's more pages of the codex. And then you have the XV8 Crisis Battlesuit team like this then you can get by the battle force as well which comes with 12 fire warriors 3 crisis squad 3 man stealth team and a tower piranha and it also comes with 8 gun drones so there that's a new one it's Gandalf and Bilbo Baggins that's one of the new sets from the Hobbit these are all fine cast, so then you can also get Gollum, there's Captain of Erebor, Captain of Dale, then you have Rain, and now you can get the um, Hobbit Rules Manual in hardcover. And then the ten tailed cat you can get shirts for them. And there on the back you can see like it's like an inn. So then you have some music from the Black Library. Some Forge World stuff. You can buy a realm of battle like citadel thing with necrons 
it's like a pre-made table, looks pretty cool. So that's Forge World. Then you just have digital products, and that's the pricing of everything. So. That's the prices there. Just go through it quite quickly. So that's that pretty much. The shirts, uh, they're limited time only and they're 30 pound. I'm not sure how much that is in Australian. So but then you have Army of the Month, which is a beast man's army. I don't really like this section. So, but I'll show you anyway. And you have Jervis Johnson talking about stuff. But then you have the battle report, which is Tau versus the new Tyranids things you can get. But so, uh, I'll just show you this here. Oh, I won't ruin the battle report, but I'll just show you what it has. That's the towel, and then for the the Tyranids, which you can get, I'll just show them off. You can get this. That's pretty much that. So, um, not to ruin it, I'll just skip this. Um, yeah, and then we're in. Uh, not sure how to say this, I think it's Blanchidzu or something where this month they have um, Chaos Cultists so there's some there And then we're out of battle suits. It's pretty much just a towel. It just tells you about how battle suits and stuff were made. That's pretty much just this. And then for the Hall of Fame, it's the Corn Lord on Juggernaut. I really love this model as well. And then you have the parade ground with all the golden demon winners, so let's just go through those. If you haven't already seen um, the golden demon video I did a while back for the Australian one, you can check those out. Sorry about the glare as well, this is one of my favourites here. This is like a big diorama. Pretty cool. There's Angron. So yeah, pretty much just the gold demons. pages of that. Then you have the kit bash where Orc Death Dread and stuff from the Ogre Kingdom. Dark Angels Raven Wings. You have this is like a vampire counts Mycelium. And you have Chaos Ward. And you have Parade Ground. It's pretty much just 
this. So yeah. Um come to battleground, which is pretty much just um like terrain and stuff. So this is for Tau, obviously. And then we come to probably my favorite section, paint splatter. It shows you how to paint models and stuff. Starting to come to the end of this review showcase kind of thing. There's Jeremy Burdock. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, tell me what you thought about um, this month's White Dwarf and if you're going to buy the towel, um, which are coming out. And as well, I have one more thing to show you. It's not really about the White Dwarf, it's just an update on some conversions I've been doing. So I'll uh, show you that um, I've just been trying some stuff out for example here I have a um, Chaos Space Marine who's reloading I might make a tutorial on that there you can see he's holding his gun there with the ammo clip there and then I've also um, converted these legs with green stuff so in a pose like this and uh, this is a conversion for my laws, we like this, he'll have the legs like that, so he's like jumping, um, and he's holding the sword double-handed, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.